workshop tip for what it's worth. Uh, let's say you've got a lot of batteries. I mean, you're into FPV and you got like ammo cans filled with batteries. And you've got a lot of them charged and you realize you're not going to fly for a while. You want to get them discharged and somewhat near a stored state. But you don't want to wait for your home charger to do it. You can get one of these little devices off of Amazon. They're relatively cheap. I think around $15. Um, and what this is called is called a PTC heater. And it's a real simple device because all it is is a resistor. You put power to it. And right now the resistance is low because the temperature is low. But it's designed as it's pulling amps, the resistance goes up. And as it's pulling amp, the heat goes up. And at some point it's going to plateau. And the resistance is going to increase. And the amps will then level off and even drop, actually, to about whatever it's rated, the watts it's rated to. I think this is about 120 or 100 watt PTC. So it's going to pull around 6 amps, 7 amps once it's heated up. It's going to be like 12 while it's heating up. Really simple device, self-regulating resistor. Super smart and easy to use and much quicker than waiting for your home charger. Um, disclaimer, don't ever do this unattended. And don't do anything with LiPos unattended. You know, don't be that guy. We've all seen the videos. Charging or discharging, don't be that guy. You know, your home and your worth, your workshop is... Uh, worth it don't don't leave them alone and so what I do is uh, I'll you'll see I'll hook this up and I got a watt meter you don't need that that's just gee whiz for this you can go straight to the heater get yourself a voltage alarm now I can't find mine with the alarm but I was set it to say 3.7 volts per cell to buzz you know when it reaches that I plug it in and watch what's gonna happen so Sorry, I gotta do this one handed, guys. I think I can do it. Hold on. Uh, Alright. So we've got her in. And I'm gonna say, right now we're pulling 10 amps. It's as expected. Resistance is low. And she's heating up. She's pulling 170 watts. 10 amps. Okay. It's, under, under load it's at 15.7 volts so what's going on is this is getting hot I could grab it right now but I can feel it getting warm so you take the battery stick it inside of an ammo can or a lipo bag you know leave the lid kind of crack let the wire come out and then take the heater and put the heater on top of there then there you go and pretty soon she'll get down to say you know 3.7 volts under load that's going to be that's going to work out to like 3.8 3.9 which is a pretty close enough which is close enough to storage state that's how that's working now watch so i plugged it in and it started out whoo that's hot that's hot already so it started out at 11 amps and it's already gone down to seven and it's going to plateau there uh because i know this is about 100 to 120 watt rated heater. That's what it is. It's a PTC heater. So, pretty good way to store these. I mean, let's see, it's 7 amps. Uh, you know, I want to get down to a stored state relatively quickly. Um, beats running it a motor on your quad or your wing. Um, beats waiting for the charger at home. There you go, 6 amps. That's what I thought. 100 watts. So she's fully heated up all the way, and that's what happens. They're really cheap. They're like $15. So this is a lot faster than waiting for your home charger. Anyway, 15, let's see, what are we, 3.9. So I'm going to wash this like a hawk here. Normally I would have it in there, but this is going to happen pretty quick. And uh, there you go, for what it's worth, workshop tip. Easy tool to discharge a ton of batteries relatively quickly and safely. Because, you know, in our wings and quads, we're pulling way more than 5, 6 amps flying around. No reason why you can't discharge at a leisurely 6 amps. See ya.